Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combined. And today, everyone is going to have their first day of class, because it is Monday. So that is not very exciting, but that is what's happening, because <laughs> Mondays and Wednesdays, for the most part, are all about classes, which is just awful. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have a little bit more free time. Uh, Buster doesn't have any morning classes, so I'm going to have him go ahead and go over to the university quad so that we can maybe make some snow angels and you know snowmen and igloo because it is now winter time so we have the ability to do so and I feel like the university quad needs some snowmen out in display who was that over there in the pink was that um what's her face Sarah yes yes it is and oh my god Crazy werewolves just hanging out everywhere. Wait, was that? No, that was a fairy. She looked crazy when she was traveling, though. So, Island Paradise has recently come out, and I have been getting a lot of questions about, you know, when I'm going to start my Let's Play of it. And as many of you might know, I'm going to basically make it the second season of Combined, where I focus on Island Paradise as well as something else but I don't want to give away too much information about that but just know that Island Paradise I will get it when I start season 2 of combined um, there's four parts left after this one for the Sims 3 combined because on Friday that's when five out of six of our students are going to be getting their degrees which is pretty awesome and I decided that Plastic and Keeley will be the ones to basically own their own resort, mostly because, you know, Keeley is going to school for, um, whatchamacallit, a business degree, and from what I've read online, degrees really don't help out in Island Paradise when it comes to running a resort, but I just felt like it would still make the most sense for her to basically uh, own a resort, so... And of course, you know, she is girlfriends, or, or the girlfriend of Plastic, so he has to tag along. And who knows, maybe once they're living together and running their own... Well, they're already living together, but <laughs> I like the way Buster decides to make a slow angels. He just dives right in, <laughs> face front, not the other way around. He doesn't have a care in the world. But anyways, like I was saying, I'll probably have them get engaged and married and stuff in the next season. And they'll have their own children and stuff. And it'll be super, super exciting. Also, with Buster and Babs and Paula, we will still see them in Season 2. Just not with Island Paradise. So, okay. Let's go ahead and build an igloo over here as well. That way we can do all three things that we can in the snow. So cool. What are you doing with our snow angel? Hmm? We can destroy our snow angel? That doesn't really make sense. Wouldn't we just be like digging up or filling in the snow or something? I don't really understand that. But uh, anyways, Buster is going to be going to class soon. But before he does, let's have him just relax in here for a brief moment. And then we can have him go ahead and go to class and have him work hard because his performance is not too good. So, let's see. It's not time for class. Yes, it is. You're a liar. <laughs> now, Paula does not have class for another six hours. So, I'm going to have her head on over to the Student Union building. And I can't get over how pretty the University Quad looks like in the snow. Seriously. I love it so, so much. The thing with the University, though, is like after you've played, um, you know, two semesters worth of the game, I feel like... It kind of does get a little repetitive or maybe just a little stale because at this point you have already had all the different types of parties you know you've had the like toga parties the keg stand parties or juice keggers actually and also the bonfires so it's like I don't know you kind of have to get creative with it if you want it to be more interesting and at this point we're just playing to finish getting their degrees so that's why I'm kind of trying to speed this up for the most part it's just like you know I feel like we kind of done a lot of stuff from university obviously there's a lot of stuff out there that I haven't shown off but I feel like for the most part we've covered a 
pretty decent chunk of stuff. I'm having her just research science because whatever, why not? But I'm going to have her go ice skate after she's done over here because I don't think I've had any of my sims ever do that. So, um, oh no, your class effort could be worse, Keely, but it could be better too. Hmm. And actually, damn, Paula has to go to class now. Is there anyone that's free right now? Nope, everyone is attending class, so you have to fast forward. This is why I hate, like, Mondays and Wednesdays in university, though, because they all have to go to class. And a majority of them are taking a full, like, load of classes so that they can get their degrees, because I do not want to come back for a fourth semester. That's just a little crazy. And, whoa, Paris Vanderbilt has invited Plastic to an upcoming bonfire party. Oh my god. So, for those of you that don't know, <laughs> I once had a sim named Paris Hilton, <laughs> who was made of pure evil, and we thought we banished her, but obviously she was reincarnated as a fairy to haunt us even during our time in university. So obviously we had to go to this party over here and see what Paris is up to, because she's not fooling anyone. We know who that is. <laughs> oh, and I forget. Do we have holiday lights at our university? Or at our... Yeah, we do. At our dorm, I should say. How pretty. I think I want to put the icicle ones, though. Because I feel like those look like a lot better. So we'll do the hanging white ones. There we go. So, so pretty. Um, you know what, though? I feel kind of bad for our chicken coop. Because <laughs> they're over here in the snow. But... You know what? They seem to be okay. They're kind of indoors in their little coop, so it's all good. Buster is stressed out from class, so maybe we'll have him just um, take it easy for a little bit so he's not as stressed. How's everyone else doing? A few people are a bit hungry, but that's about it. I think that we have to go to the party after this class is done, possibly. I'm not sure. It's almost 6 p.m., so I could imagine um, that the party would be starting soon. So I'm glad you're coming to class, Babs. If you put in some extra effort, you could really succeed. Mm -hmm. So all of our sims could be doing better at school. But you know what? It's the first day they're back to school. So, you know, what do you really expect? Oh my god, Paula is... What is wrong with you? Oh, she's dehydrated. <gasps> what does that mean? Water. Oh my god, she has to go and like, you know, take a shower or something. I don't know, I guess... Well, duh, she's a plant. She needs water. What happens when they're not watered for long enough? She's also terrified? Oh, from a werewolf transformation. And embarrassed. Oh my god, she peed herself. <laughs> Obviously, her professor is one of those really strict professors that do not let you get up, even for the bathroom, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. But whatever. We're going to have Paula take it a little easy because she's had a rough day peeing herself and such. So... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Is Plastic at this party? Wasn't Paris throwing a party over here? Are we, like, super early? I don't know. But anyways, let's have Keely head on over here as well. And, okay, this is supposed to be a bonf... What is up with you guys? My God. Do you see all of the dirty clothes on the floor? This is why I do not like laundry in The Sims 3. Because piles of clothes just go everywhere. And I don't even think that we can actually pick them up or not. I, I don't know. I'll try. Let's see. Let's go ahead and click. So, oh yeah, we were a little early. And nope, we cannot interact with that at all. And yet again, there is no... F oh, never mind. They learned from last time to actually prepare some food. It's some really crappy food, though. Who serves waffles for a bonfire party? Whoa. Woohoo with another sim. Okay, maybe we can have Plastic and Keely woohoo with each other or something. Oh, you know what we should do? Is Keely in a good mood? Okay, she is. So I'm going to have her go ahead and make an igloo if we can outside. And I would like for Plastic and Keely to woohoo. Um, oh my god, this is a swimwear party? <laughs> in winter? I guess I didn't catch that when we got the invitation. But, yep, everyone is wearing their swimwear. Keely is putting an infinite amount of random ice that's going nowhere. Is she going to vomit? 
Oh my god, you know what? It was from that candy bar. So, let's see. What are you doing? Oh my god. I feel like... Who is playing guitar? You. You random per Oh! Gross! All of the food just spoiled. Well, crap. Let's go ahead and eat some canned soup. Because, you know, Plastic's incredibly hungry. And I swear, if they kick us out, I'm going to be so angry. Because, hello, you guys need to serve non-spoiled food for once. Now, Keely, did you finish throwing up? Yes, you did. Good job. So go ahead and resume building that igloo. I'll actually have Plastic over here to help you build it as well. That way, maybe you guys can woohoo. And, good, Keely got some common sense. And actually, um put her outerwear awesome and look at that so let's have her go relax in here as well as plastic that way maybe they can woohoo with each other oh my god everyone wants to go on a date with each other stop <laughs> so let's see can we go ahead and woohoo mm, oh here we go let's try to do this so no don't answer your phone are you kidding me come on there we go! Yay! It took some effort, but wow. How classy. Plastic and Keely woohooing right in front of everyone, essentially. Though no one is really watching because they're all busy wearing their swimwear indoors. And let's see. So, oh my god, stop with these dates. I really wish I could turn that off. It's so annoying. And who is calling him on the phone? No, Sarah Parker. We do not want to go on a date with you. You know why? Because you're dating Paula Grapes. So leave us alone. <laughs> and whatever. It's time to go home because this is just awful. I hate this sorority house and I never want to come back ever again. No matter what kind of party it is. Oh, man. So the jocks are taking a liking to Plastic Bag and want to see more of him. Plastic is able to take self photos. Wow, who knew that public woohooing would make you so popular with the jocks? <laughs> uh, that was ridiculous. Whatever. Let's go ahead and, uh, what? You weren't. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do that whole opportunity thing with the. Why did she wear her swimwear and decide to go nap on the couch? You know, you have a perfectly good Murphy bed upstairs that you can go sleep in. <laughs> oh my god. Well, whatever. We had plastic and Keely woohoo and an igloo. It was something, <laughs> that's for sure. And everyone was really exhausted from classes all day today, but hopefully in the next part, you know, we'll actually be able to do some more fun stuff other than just going to class. So, anyways, I hope you guys are excited for the next part, and I will see you guys then.